Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply bronzer and blush for a natural finish. Now I'm going to put this tutorial into steps so that you are able to follow the steps and recreate the look at home. And we're going to keep it very lightweight and natural so that you can also wear it in real life as well. So let me get started with the tools that you will need. Starting off with a bronzer of course, and this can come in a matte or shimmer finish, whatever you personally prefer. I like to go in with the City Bronzer which is by Maybelline. Then using a bit of blush. And for blush you can also decide whatever finish you want to prefer and I'm going in with the shimmery one. And this one is by Nars and it's the Orgasm Blush. And lastly, you will need the tools, which are two brushes. And keep in mind that it doesn't really matter if the brush says if it's a blush brush or bronzer blush. Just remember that you should have a medium sized face brush so that you are able to apply the powder on larger areas for a quick application. And so I'm going to use this brush for bronzer and this one for blush. So let's get started with the first step. So go ahead and grab your bronzer which you want to use as well as the medium sized face brush. Now dip into the bronzer just a bit, do not overload the brush and always tap off any excess so that you can apply it lightweight and also can control the amount of bronzer you're going to use. Because it's so easy to overdo it and then it can be tricky to reduce the amount of product you have applied. And so starting off with the forehead area where you mainly are going to keep the focus towards this area right here and then just blend it a slightly bit towards the temples not too much and you can use circular motions while applying it now if you have like a fair skin tone as I do myself then really be careful with the bronzer that you're going to choose as well as how much you're going to apply because if you're that fair you can look very orange and it also can look like dirt or mud on your face very easily so the less is more And using a medium sized face brush for larger areas just will make the application a little bit quicker and also it will spread it out a little bit smoother without ending up with any harsh lines. And now I'm going to move on towards the cheek area. Now with the bronzer it's important that you're not going to apply it underneath the cheekbone area because this is where the natural shadow is but we're going to use it on top so that we are getting that natural sun kiss glow right here. And so we're going to start from this part right here towards the hairline. So we are going to blend it basically upwards to the hairline. And this is already enough and you can also later on once you have applied it and also blended it towards this area, blend it upwards just a tiny bit so that we have a softer looking finish. And so now I'm going to dip into the bronzer just a tiny bit for the jawline as well as the chin area and blend it down towards my neckline. And this way if you're going to blend it down towards your neckline as this can be quite pale sometimes it's going to blend beautifully also with your face makeup. And you don't need to use a lot just a tiny bit. And now whatever it's left on the brush you're going to use it just a tiny bit over the nose. And that's already how you can apply the bronzer as our first step. Mm -hmm. 
So now it's time for blush and I'm also going to dig into the shimmery blush as well as using the blush brush. Now if you want to achieve a very natural finish, the softer the brush, the less it will pick up. If you're going to choose a firmer, like medium sized brush for your face areas, it always will pick up more product, which means the intensity will be a little bit stronger. And so to achieve a natural finish and also make sure that it blends beautifully into the bronzer, I'm going to choose a fluffier one. Now with blush, it's a little bit different from the bronzer as we have applied the bronzer on top of our cheekbones right here. Now we're going to blend the blush into the bronzer, but what's really important is that with the blush, you're going to start from the apples of your cheeks. So if you can't see them, smile, and then they will be visible. And this is where we are going to start and then blend it towards the hairline. With blush you can also blend it a little bit downward so that it's going to melt in with the bronzer and you won't end up with a harsh line where the blush starts and the bronzer stops. And this is how you can apply bronzer and blush for a natural finish. And keep in mind, the less is more, because we want to achieve a beautiful blended finish so that you can also wear it in real life. It's so easy to overdo. So keep in mind, just use a bit and then you always can add more. This is the best way on how you can control the amount of product you're going to use. Now also do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did so don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!